Hi, my name is Jay. Over the history of my channel, I've done a bunch of Lego combinations of tech and these lovely Lego contraptions. And you know, in the past, we've done computer cases, we've done a lot of computer cases, we've done some really effective computer cases and some ineffective ones. But I wanted to add on something, expand the horizons, and do an idea that's never been done before. Right here, you're looking at a computer. Give me a break because I have no idea what this necessarily is, but what it does is it increases f airflow through the CPU uh, heat sink, I guess, and it increases airflow so that you get a lot, not really, about five degrees Celsius cooler than you would otherwise. Now you're going, oh boy, well, that's not necessarily something special. Now, I'm not here to make anything practical. This is just to show the possibilities of Legos, which I like to do on this channel and just show that there's options out there and I'm sure with a little bit more of these orange pieces you could actually get some substantial cooling because the way I designed this is it's a pretty much an expandable design and the only things that change is just of course add more of these orange pieces. So let's talk about the downsides. Well obviously the cooling of 5 degrees Celsius is pretty, I mean it's okay, I mean you, of course the wine that this motor emits Oh my gosh, it, it hurts my it hurts my head. So first off, when this thing turns on, which I'll have some clips displaying somewhere around here, hopefully, and I've got, you know, this really loud motor, and it, not worth it. I mean, I would literally drop, I would literally be fine with five degrees hotter if this motor didn't make, you know, without the motor, because the motor just... hurts my head. So the last bit I want to also talk about in the next bit is these yellow pieces. Now this set is all one set. It came with the NXT third generation or second generation. I don't remember which one, but it's basically a Lego set that's supposed to be like a technical engineering set. And the biggest thing was, the only thing is these the orange pieces don't actually come with that set. These are basically um, the brick you know, separators that come with the big sets. So, um, just like the big city sets, etc. So these pieces, the reason why I chose them is of course when you rotate them, they push the air down. But the problem is these don't come too often in a lot of sets and they only come in the big sets. So these cost like three bucks a piece outside of the sets. And I mean, I've been collecting Legos since I was three. So I happen to have a few laying around. But if you look at this, you're really wondering you know, that's not really practical, especially paying something like we're in this set. It was probably like, I don't know, probably going to be like 50 bucks now and getting this, you know, uh, other pieces for another, I don't know, what are we got looking at here? Here's 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 how good my math is. Whew, let's see. Uh, I think that's six times, we'll just say three. Oh boy. 18. This is how, uh, if you're curious, math was not my best subject last semester. I'm just saying. But, um... Yeah, it's a little nice to be off of math. I've gotten a lot of projects done. Sanity or not, I've gotten them done. So this has been basically really fun to make because I like the fact that this this test bench, which we did in a previous video, we just basically built like a test bench to house everything and build off of with Legos because that's what we were planning on doing, which you can check out that video. It should be in the latest um, Lego create Lego mods, etc. in the on the channel page. But the reason why I really like this is just because, of course, it's you know, expandable, fully modular, and, um, yeah, and uh, that's why I like it a lot. And forgive me, I'm doing this video pretty late, like, I'm a little tired, went to the gym today, I got a lot done, got multiple videos done today, just trying to chillax, I guess. But this is one thing I really enjoyed, because I would have a time lapse for you guys, but this was not actually expected to make a video, I was really surprised that this even changed anything with the temperature wise um it basically just kind of pushes air away from the what the fan can't do just kind of a broader range and i was really surprised it actually had any difference because i was really not expecting anything except for the loud i didn't i don't remember the motor being that loud but get my point so if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't enjoy my lego contraption uh i'm sorry i guess and if you have a Lego contraption or a little Lego mod that you think I can do, put that down in the comments. I'd really like to see what you guys have. And for tomorrow, we've got a nice example of some pump action cooling. Now, let's be honest. This is not supposed to be practical. This is just supposed to be for fun. And good grief, I'm going to get a workout tomorrow with this. 
So, thank you all for watching. Hope to see you around if you're interested. And, uh, yeah, goodbye.